Like a computer hard drive, the nucleus of each cell contains a set of instructions. It's called the genome and it is made up of DNA. And just like the data on a computer hard drive is segmented and organized, the genome is also packed and organized inside the nucleus in the form of chromatin. Within the chromatin, the repeating unit is the nucleosome, made up of 147 base pairs of DNA wrapped in two turns around the core histones. Nucleosomes tie up to form a beads on the string like fiber, and the linker histone H1 helps further compact the fiber. Chromatin fiber is too small to be visualized with conventional light microscopy in single intact nuclei. Super resolution microscopy like STORM breaks the diffraction limit by switching fluorophores between bright and dark states. At any given time, only a small subset of the fluorophores is in the bright state, and their positions can be precisely identified by finding the center position of their images. The positions of the fluorophores can then be combined together to build a high-resolution map of the underlying biological structure. Using this technique, we were able to visualize and count the nucleosomes along the chromatin fiber. We found that nucleosomes form heterogeneous groups of varying sizes like egg clutches. The nucleosome clutches are interspersed with nucleosome depleted regions. Nucleosomes are more tightly compacted inside the large clutches in comparison to small clutches. Large clutches therefore contain more of the linker histone H1 and form the heterochromatine or silence regions of the chromatin. Due to their more loose packing, large enzymes like RNA polymerase can also easily access and associate with small clutches, which are likely to actively transcribe regions of the chromatin. Stem cells are undifferentiated cells that are able to self-renew indefinitely, with the potential to differentiate into all the cell types of the body. We found that chromatin fiber in embryonic stem cells is mainly formed by small and low-density clutches. Their genetic code in this way is easily accessible to many transcriptional factors into the RNA polymerase too. In fibroblasts, which are specialized cells of the skin, we found that unlike stem cells, the chromatin fiber contains more of the larger clutches, which include more H1. Differentiated cells can be reprogrammed into a stem state through the process of induced pluripotency. How can the chromatin fiber go from containing mainly large clutches to containing mainly small clutches and vice versa during reprogramming? How are the nucleosome depleted regions generated in the chromatin fiber? To address these questions, we hypothesize that two mechanisms, removal and sliding apart of nucleosomes, can play a role in generating smaller clutches in nucleosome depleted regions. We then performed coarse grain computer simulations to model these two mechanisms and we compared the results to the experimental data. The simulations could recapitulate our experimental results when the nucleosome occupancy of the DNA fiber is around 60% in differentiated cells, very close to what has been measured in genome-wide studies. Both mechanisms gave similar results and remain to be tested experimentally. In conclusion, nucleosomes assemble into groups along the chromatin fiber. Just like egg clutches, nucleosome clutches have different sizes. The large nucleosome clutches are enriched in heterochromatin, whereas the small clutches form the active chromatin. The absence of highly ordered structures and the presence of nucleosome depleted regions may offer flexibility for the chromatin fiber that may act in a highly dynamic way in front of the multiple and complex cellular needs. Clutch size and clutch organization is cell type specific. This link between nanoscale nucleosome organization and cell state can help us study some of the key factors that drive cellular reprogramming.